Hello there. In our household, we have 21 North Face bags of various shapes and sizes. There's one bag which has turned out to be so useful, we've ended up with three in three different colours. And that's the Explorer Fuse Box Small. So this isn't the full size fuse box bag, this is the smaller day pack kind of version. So what is it, and why have we ended up owning three of them? So the Explorer Fuse Box Small is a 14 litre bag, and it's made of the same material that the Base Camp Duffels are made of. So it's tough and durable. It's got a fleece lined laptop sleeve inside, and it's got the usual Base Camp daisy chains on the outside. And as you can see here, it is significantly smaller than the normal fuse box, the large one. It's about half the capacity. So this has the zip that goes right under the top, and inside the top lid, this mesh pocket with the usual little kind of keyring loop inside there for attaching stuff to. There's the fleece line laptop compartment which supposedly holds laptops up to 13 inches. And that's it, nothing fancy on the inside. On the outside it's got the little tote handles and a nice strong zip. Looking at the back of it, it's got padded handles with a chest strap and a built-in little whistle. And as you'd expect, lots and lots of adjustment on the shoulder straps. And it also has down one side a little kind of hidden pocket, which is probably phone and wallet size. This goes up the side of the bag. The zip area is the one area that doesn't have the base camp material, so there is normal kind of cotton round about there, so it will leak if it gets properly soaked. However, the rest of the exterior is that base camp PVC material, which is pretty hard wearing and water resistant. The tote handles, I've got the little clip to clip them together, and as I mentioned, this have the daisy chains on the outside so you can attach stuff to the bag. So far, nothing special then. So why do we have three of them? It turns out 14 litres is a really good size for taking to the gym or putting some gear in or just use for using as a day pack. It also is the perfect size to fit on Ryanair as a small cabin bag. And because it's that tough, durable material, you can cram quite a lot of stuff in and squash it in really well and it still retains its shape. How much stuff can you fit in? Well, it depends what you're trying to put in, obviously, but we went away for the weekend recently to Madrid, and each of us took one of the Explore bags, and we were able to fit our clothes in for the weekend. So as an example, one hoodie, a pair of joggers, three sets of underwear and socks, three tops, some toiletries, etc in each bag. And because of that base camp material, they're really durable, so they were fine getting kicked about on the flight under the seats for a couple of hours. We used them as day packs to take them to the beach, where they were just chucked in the sand. They were in and out the hire car various times. And they're really resistant to scratches and damage. Also when we were in Madrid it turned out it was raining for hours and the water just sits on the surface of these bags. Now as I said this is not waterproof. There is the area around the zip if it gets too wet that will seep in water. But the water just sits on top of the base camp material until you dry it off. It doesn't soak in. So really handy for that kind of situation. And coming back, we crammed even more stuff into the bags, souvenirs, etc. And more walking in the rain, because we're back in Scotland now. And they held up really well. 
Unfortunately, they may be discontinued now, although we did find one in the local outlet store, which is where we got our third one. Is it quite expensive for a small bag? Probably, but is it a really useful, versatile little bag that's durable and hard wearing? Yeah. So if you can get one, I'd recommend it. Right, that's all I've got for you in this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.